First, prepare a paper towel. Put the power chip on top of the paper towel. The correct way to handle it should be, add a little solder oil to the chip. The soldering iron hangs a solder ball at 380 degrees, quickly hover and roll on the chip. Then rinse with washing water. It must be clean and dry. Prepare the number 4 blade. Take an appropriate amount of medium temperature tin, press repeatedly on the paper towel three times. The purpose is to absorb the soldering oil and the tin flux. The tin planting mesh corresponds to each solder joint of the chip foot. Use two fingers of the left hand to press the two sides of the tin planting mesh. Don't use brute force, just keep the tin planting net still. Lightly tin. It's like you're stroking your girlfriend's face. Remember not to push too hard. Finally, do a light wipe with a dust-free cloth. After pressing the two sides with tweezers on the right hand, move your left hand away. Heating using crack 861 air gun, 370 degrees, wind 2030. If the wind is too high, it is easy to produce the so-called fried tin phenomenon. Blow from a corner, blow the side first to preheat. Blow on the chip, tint there, followed by the blow gun. After all the solder balls have formed, don't release the tweezers in a hurry. Blow a breath at the tin planting net first. Gently remove the chip after cooling down. Finally, add soldering oil to the chip. Air gun heating homing. Complete the tin implantation process of the entire conventional chip.